How's it going, Jen? It's going great. I am making the raw sweet corn salad uh -huh. found out of Rhonda's recipe book. And what most people don't know is that you can actually eat raw corn right off the cob. And I'm going to show you how to cut one up right now. You know, raw corn, that's something that uh, I've been doing for years. So whenever I buy fresh sweet corn, I always would nibble into one of the ears. When it's fresh and it's raw, it's so much sweeter and so much crisper than when it's cooked. So it's a wonderful ingredient in salad. Yeah, now I love taking this and eating it just right off the cob. But whenever you're cutting it off the cob, you want to try to get it as close to the cob as possible without actually cutting into the cob. Because the cob is not easy to digest. No, no, it, it's really hard and it doesn't taste very good uh -huh, either. So uh -huh. I'll just go ahead and throw that away. Okay. Now, also in the salad, we have three tablespoons of parsley. That's fresh parsley, not uh -huh. dried. The grocery store we use, uh, fresh parsley is free. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. the first bunch. Yeah, they, it really doesn't cost very much. Uh, we have one quarter cup of red sweet onion, one stalk of celery that's been diced, and one large tomato. In the summertime, these are great. And last but not least, we have a half of a red bell pepper. Mm. The salad is really fresh. It's best, um, in my opinion, in the summertime. And we're going to take all of this, we're going to just stir it up, and then you're going to let this sit while we prepare our greens, which I've already done while you were making your dressing, so I cut up the green, some green leaf lettuce. And now we're going to take our salad and just put it right on top. Looks delicious. Oh, I love this salad, especially with some of this avocado dressing right on top. We're gonna now I made a up. half of an avocado. Is that enough for this? Um, the dressing, the salad really serves two people, so uh -huh. one whole avocado would be plenty. Okay, great. I love this salad. You know, there are so many different varieties of salads that you can have. You're not just limited to like a leaf lettuce salad with some vegetables in it. So we prepared a few others just to give you some an idea of the spectrum that you can have in salads. One of the ones that I made earlier today was a green bean marinated salad, which is simply green beans and tomatoes, and then I've diced in some celery and onion, and then I put in a special dressing and let it marinate for an hour so that all the flavors can combine. It's really crisp, it's very fresh. This salad here can be found in the grains and salads uh, section of Rhonda's recipe book. This is the couscous and raw vegetables, and all it is is couscous that's been cooked in some spices like nutmeg and curry. And it's got, we took uh, some vegetables that we found in the refrigerator, just about anything. There's carrots, red bell pepper, green onion, broccoli, and cauliflower in it. And you know, for those who've never had couscous, many people probably don't realize that couscous is basically a pasta that's been diced up very fine. And it cooks really quick, uh, like five to 10 minutes, and it's ready. One of the other things about this salad is that you can make a salad out of any produce that you have in your refrigerator and one of the things to be successful on this diet is to keep your refrigerator full of fresh produce. We go two or three times a week down to our local produce stand and you can make up basically any kind of salad you want. Take your favorite vegetables, dice them up into small bite-sized bits, use your favorite dressing. It's something that you can throw a meal together in less than 10 minutes. What do now, we have here? Now this is probably my all-time favorite salad. This is the taco lentil salad. These are just lentils that have been cooked in some taco seasoning. And we have some fresh tomatoes, some guacamole on top, and around it we have some blue corn chips. Mm. These are just fabulous for those nights where you want that Mexican feeling. Right. I like to take salsa and put it on top rather than the other dressing. You know, uh, the salsa too, a little later in the program, we're going to make a really mm. fast salsa. That's another thing that uh, you can put together in less than five minutes. One of the things about eating a, a diet like this is there are a lot of choices that are simple to make, they're quick and they're easy. Um, you have choice in what you do every day and you don't have to spend a lot of time at it.